We've heard there what the Prime Minister's had to say. What are the government going to be doing? I think it will be a restatement of what we have already had from the government, Kamali, in, in terms of giving the police their full backing to um, do whatever they th feel is necessary to bring disorder and violence under control, whilst also talking a lot about what will happen to some of the people that take part in um, disorder uh, if they are arrested and charged. So talking a lot about standing up extra capacity in courts, bringing extra prosecutors in to make sure that people can feel the full force of the law. I think in government they had probably been nervously waiting, like much of the country, quite frankly, to see whether the some of the scenes that we saw yesterday in various parts of the country were replicated um, today. Uh, a lot of the violence seems to be focused on um, a uh, holiday in a hotel in Rotherham in South Yorkshire where uh, protesters and um, people that have turned up there clearly believe that there are asylum seekers that are housed there. We don't know for sure whether that's the case um, or not, but there's been some pretty um, worrying and scary scenes already in Rotherham where significant proportions, significant numbers of people um, amassing outside of that, uh, outside of that hotel, um, objects, uh, bits of wood being thrown at the hotel. There's some video on social media circulating of people managing to get inside the hotel um, as well, uh, and video of a fire that appears to have been started outside the hotel. Clearly, uh, we haven't necessarily seen um, equivalent uh, levels of violence in places where there were yesterday, such as um, Bristol and Liverpool. That doesn't feel to, that it's being replicated um, again today, um, but pretty scary scenes in Rotherham, and I imagine if you're the government, um, you will be looking at that, hoping that doesn't expand and spread, but really restating the message that we heard yesterday um, around the backing for the police uh, making sure the police have the resources they need um, and then uh, essentially condemning the violence, trying not to get roped into some of the political arguments that lie uh, behind them um, and then making sure that the capacity, the capability is in place behind the scenes to, protect, to process people who are arrested by police for taking part in violence and disorder. Uh, Rob, just stay with us for a moment, because I just want to show viewers uh, the latest footage that we have. We're looking at Rotherham now, as Rob was describing there, a Holiday Inn Express there coming under attack. But this is Middlesbrough, where a protest began a short while ago, as you can see riot police uh, seemingly walking along with the protesters now as they march through the centre of Middlesbrough. There's been disorder all across the country in the past 24 hours or so, some 100 arrests have been made and police officers injured as uh, um, people who describe themselves as anti-immigration, anti-migrant. The Prime Minister described them as far-right thugs have taken to the streets of a number of cities and towns up and down the UK, uh, as well as in Belfast, uh, and have clashed with police, as we can see here.